You know, I, I really didn't know about decisions in my life. I, I really didn't know myself, you know. I had a lot of struggles in my life. Um, I had a, a, a mother that was addicted and it was very painful. And at the time I was running away from feelings, you know, and I was coming up and I was also feeling different inside. And, you know, I'm gay and it was difficult coming out I, back in the 80s. Um, even as a child, you know, because it was dysfunction around. But I think the worst uh, moment of my life was living on the streets with my mother uh, for eight years in New York. Um, throughout the drugs and alcohol and crack was a major obstacle in my life. Um, and my decision making was very poor, um, but I was in a lot of pain. And the only way to get out of that pain was use. And I used until I found, until I lost myself. And I was uh, completely almost suicidal, you know. Um, I really didn't have nowhere to turn. I kept getting apartments, losing it, you know, and uh, homelessness, eating out of garbage cans. And this was like becoming a way of life for me. And I thought that was the way of living, you know. At one point, I chose to get packed. I packed a suitcase. I walked out of a Brooklyn apartment in New York, and I walked the streets, um, not knowing where I was going. I uh, went through a lot of agencies in Connecticut. When I arrived here at uh, St. Philip, uh, you know, I was, um, I relapsed. Um, I lost something, my direction, what I was really, um, hoping for, and I guess with addiction, you know, this, this will happen. And I realize, again, do I want to return back to what I know, or do I try to change my life around me? You know, when Chrysalis took over St. Philip House, um, I met, it was a little difficult change, you know, for me, because uh, I guess we get, com I get comfortable with people that, you know, that I'm used to. And uh, for change, you know, it was a difficult, but I realized change is a good thing, and that's what I was looking forward to. And I wanted to grow with that, and that's when I met my case manager, Tamina, from Chrysalis. She, uh, she uh, showed me some um, love, you know, some strength and some courage, and, uh, you know, even though it was difficult for me to come out of that shell that I dug myself in, like that hole, I began to have a little faith in myself. My name is Jenny Agudo, and I'm a community case manager here at Crystal Center. When I first met Eddie, he was um, very shy. He would stay in the back. He wouldn't talk when we, whenever we had um, activities. He would just sit in the back. He was just listening, not interacting basically just being quiet as the time went on and we got to, um, be began working together, he started advocating for himself, he started talking, he started volunteering, um, he has become a peer and a mentor for others. I love what I do. You have to love your job. As case managers, we try to learn from our participants as much as they learn from us. Chrysalis cares. We help, we support. We're here. And that's what makes Chrysalis special, that was, makes Chrysalis different from other agencies. The staff, the people that work here really, really care. Uh, I'm grateful for this opportunity, you know, um, that Chrysalis has given me. What I'm learning today is having a different perspective, and that perspective for me is uh, roll with the challenges, because um, my best day I'm using doesn't compare at all to my life today, you know? And that's what I'm at. <laughs> 
Chrysalis Center knows that each individual's journey through life is unique. We also believe that everyone, regardless of age, gender, race, illness, disability, and life circumstance, has the strength, skill, and experience to pave the road of their own journey. Chrysalis Center provides supportive services to assist people in need to transform their lives.